CAD, Computer Aided Design. It's the cornerstone for how we design and build things. But how did it come into being? What are the historical milestones that got us to this point? And where is it going next? To find out, we're going all the way back to the beginning of time. No, no, we don't need to go back that far. Let's start in 1861, France. French chemist Alphonse Louis Poitevin discovers a process involving sunlight and a substance found in gum that allows original architectural drawings to be accurately reproduced. The process creates a negative copy where black lines turn white and blank space turns blue, leaving users with a blue print. Je Suddenly, designs can be easily replicated and distributed, allowing everyone to work from the same design without fear of errors in reproduction. It's no small coincidence that the second great industrial revolution starts just a few years later. In 1936, British code breaker Alan Turing invents the Turing machine, which becomes the basis for the modern computer. You're welcome. Through the late 40s and early 50s, mainframe computing is introduced and goes commercial. And by 1955, transistors start replacing vacuum tubes, exponentially accelerating processing speed. Then, in 1961, renowned computer scientist Dr. Patrick J. Hanratty joins General Motors Research Laboratories and helps develop DAC, Design Automated by Computer. But it's Douglas T. Ross, computer scientist pioneer and father of computerized machining, that coins the term CAD. Let's call it CAD. Okay. Hooray! Acronyms aside, to this day, it is Patrick Hanratty who's known as the father of CAD. In 1971, while Intel is busy introducing the microprocessor to the world, Hanratty introduces the CAD software known as Automated Drafting and Machinery, or ADAM for short. An estimated 90% of today's commercial drafting software can trace their roots back to Atom. In 1977, Katia, the first 3D CAD system, launches, running only on exclusive proprietary hardware. But by 1981, with the release of the IBM PC, desktop computing becomes affordable to the masses for the first time, and we see the beginning of the boom that would soon follow. On its heels, in 1982, John Walker founds Autodesk and later that year introduces AutoCAD, the first significant CAD program for the PC, changing the world of design forever. Over the next decade, huge strides are made in CAD-based software. 3D modeling is introduced, opening the door to innovative design solutions like BIM and digital prototyping. <laughs> Settle down, class. Over the next few years, Autodesk introduces a steady stream of game-changing features, further embedding AutoCAD in the design industry as an indispensable tool of the trade. Class dismissed. In fact, in 2007, Autodesk ships their 8 millionth copy of AutoCAD. From 2010 on, advances continue to be made including a web-based mobile version of AutoCAD that frees designers to work from anywhere, and Autodesk Recap, technology that allows users to create designs using real-world data captured from photos and laser scans. This is the evolution of CAD, from blueprint to desktop to cloud. Today, we see the Internet of Things continue to provide data to build smarter cities and better products. And eventually, generative design tools will use the infinite computing power of the cloud to change the very way we work, as our computers will begin to have opinions of their own and even begin to create designs for us. We'll have reached the point where the term computer-aided design truly means what it says. The tools of design have come a long way, but the story of CAD is really just beginning.